What's up everybody, it is Daydreams, thanks for coming back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video slash stream. If you're new here, please hit that red subscribe button down below. We do daily videos here on the channel, and bi daily streams here on the channel. So, guys, as you know, last week we did the Make Clash of Kings Great Again movement. And we flooded the social media of Clash of Kings with a video explaining all of the things that need fixed in the game, or at least many of the big points. And as many of you know, they actually made a response today on Facebook. Twitter and in the game they gave a link to it so they are at least listening to us so far so what we're going to do is we're going to go take a look at what they responded with and then I'm going to do a Q&A at the end of this and I'll be asking questions in the live stream so guys I always announce my live streams on Twitter so if you're not following me on Twitter it's at daydreams MMORTS it's in the description of all videos make sure you follow me there okay so we're in the game right now we're going to have to Shut the game off so I can go onto Facebook and I have it open. Okay, ready? Here we go over to Facebook. There's the stream. Say hi to YouTube, guys. Here's everybody in the stream. The stream's a little bit delayed, so it's going to take a little bit for these guys to actually hear me saying say hi to youtube so that everyone watching the video can actually see that we do got people in the stream we got 112 right now so if you guys want to be a part of that i i let everyone know on twitter facebook all that good stuff but there's everybody saying hi everybody can hear me now so we're about to go over what clash of kings responded with so we've got all kinds of uh kinds of goodness hype's acting like i'm scarce or something okay so now i do have like a third grade reading third grade reading level so you know don't hold that against me i literally just make clash of kings videos so um let's go ahead and get into this greetings from the clash of kings staff we would like to inform the players that we have seen the make clash of kings great again campaign and are aware of your concerns please allow us to apologize for not keeping to the standard our players expect our team have heard your calls and we are already taking action okay sounds pretty good so far um we will work <clears throat> well wow. we'll work hard to make changes to the game based off player feedback and feeling here are some of the changes we are planning to make to the game more fair and fun for the players okay the ancient dragon tower will be the main output for dragon related items you will have access to far greater dragon items from the dragon ancient dragon tower graphene stones and magic stones that's the for the um Dragon Graphing Stones and for the Magic Stones for the Dragon. So you're going to be able to upgrade your Graphing Stones and your Dragon much easier. Allowing players to get rewards for their efforts. That's the big thing, guys. You need to be rewarded for your effort. Um, you should be rewarded, of course, for your wallet, too, and paying for it. But you should be able to be rewarded for your effort as well. The players will get rich rewards by continuing to challenge higher floors. Okay. So I actually showed you guys the ancient dragon tower in a sneak peek about two weeks ago if you guys want to go check out that video just look on my channel from a couple weeks ago it should be on there for the shortage of stones you will gain magic stones in the ancient dragon tower research stones players will be able to obtain far more of these in the new city area torrent valley so like i said they're expanding the city so they're going to have something called torrent valley where you can get more research stones you can make more stones thus allowing players to research technology more often please note torrent valley will have other new features and functions too please look forward to this coming soon we will increase the resource gain from all events daily activity and sign in in order to help our players grow at a much more balanced rate so you're going to be getting more rewards from uh when you gather resources you're going to get more of the items and stuff and from the daily events and activities by the way guys a quick note i heard that they um put the rewards back in the uh fruit so if any of you guys with a lot of gold actually i can log into the 1599 account it's got 600k gold we can go buy like 100k gold with a uh, golden fruit and we'll see what it gets us after we go over this um okay we hope the players reach their goals by their effort and it won't take long and it won't take forever to achieve so they're basically saying that they want to increase what you get from all these events and everything so that it's not so hard for free-to-play players and mild paying players to to get far adjust the dragon campaign buff okay the max will be 25 percent okay remember how they had these 70 percent buffs for the dragon campaign and then they bumped them down to 40 percent and i think 30 percent 
The max they're going to sell now is 25% buffs. This won't be increased in the future. Also, we will adjust the ancient battlefield to get more players involved. So, I think um, I think what they should do in the ancient battlefield, honestly, is they should make it an event for people around your castle size and power. So, all the 26s and 27s are fighting each other. All the 30s are fighting each other. All the 30s and prestige 5s. All like the, you know, 26 to 29s are fighting each other. And, of course, all of the 15 to 22s are fighting each other. I think it'll make it way more balanced. And uh, But I'm not sure how they're going to do it exactly. Okay. Future plans to optimize the ancient battlefield to make it more competitive for everyone. Please keep an eye out for more details. Okay. The dragon. In the future, you will be able to use the dragon technology to research and reduce the speed of lost friendship and change other stats. Players will, be, players will have more than one dragon and will have more rich gameplay and strategy for using and arranging the dragon for battle so basically saying that they're going to be adjusting the dragons so that it's you know it's an important piece of the puzzle that is the game svip points and dragon graphene stones we will increase the free output of svip points will be obtained in chests and dragon graphene stones will be obtained from chest and the ancient dragon tower players will have more free um will have more free to open general chests in the future. The designers are actively working on more ideas right now. So they're working on more ideas to increase the flow of all these stones that everybody needs. So that's a good thing. We'll look into the value obtained from killing the evil and mad dragons. Okay, so they're seeing what they can add to it. Okay, while hitting monsters on the kingdom map. This is an important one. I haven't seen this yet. Players will see far greater rewards. Um, I'm thinking the blueprints for your weapons to get level 43 weapons. I'm thinking research stones, um, uh, those one things like the star, five star stones, all of the stones, all of the um, items that you can get. Okay, we will increase the number of dropped items from each monster you attack in order to keep, in order to help players get more for their effort in the game. That's a good thing because monsters has always been one of the things that you can, if you're not spending a lot of money, you can at least hit a lot of monsters and um, get a lot. One other thing I think they need to do is increase the amount of monsters you can hit in a day. I think 100 is not enough. I think 150 or 200 would be plenty. And it would keep the botters away from like, you know, you, you know, hitting too many and getting too far. Because I know they do have to have a cap on it. But the designers are currently working on bringing a new battle event to the game. Two to five players. Team based combat. This will also have some rare items in the rewards. We are still looking on the details for this. Please look forward to this. Now this is a big deal guys, a 2-5 to five player team based team combat, so like you know you'll have a team of you and 2-5 to five of your friends, because I know everybody has 2-5 to five good close friends that they would love to get in a team with and go face other people in battle. Maybe a dragon campaign type event, but smaller and with different um, things, so that's cool. I like I liked to see that, I love new future events, so this is just a short list of what we have planned and are working on. We hope you can see that we are taking on board what the players are saying and are hearing your concerns. Please stay tuned for further details and updates and please look forward to the changes coming. We are now working on lots of new content uh, targeting non-spenders. So that means a lot of new things for you guys that aren't spending a lot of money or are spending not, you know, you guys know what I mean. In the upcoming features, we will consider more about the player's game experience and feelings to create a fair environment. Thank you for your feedback and support. Clash of Kings Game Studio. Now, guys, the reason this is such a big deal is they basically in, in the past have never have never done that for us. They've never given us um, a legitimate response like this. I mean, they're telling us basically their future plans so we know everything that's coming. Okay, I'm looking in the comments section now. What do you guys think? Sounds good so far, Craig says. Okay, let's see what everyone's thinking. Okay, so this sounds great. Now, guys, here's one thing. We cannot, um, we can't, like, take advantage of them working with us. And we can't go make another Make Clash King Great Again video right now unless they don't come through on their promises. But I think they need, they should open up, maybe we'll open up a dialogue where we can give them some, like, when they talk about this two to five player event. They should let us help design these events and help give them feedback on, you know, if the players are happy, they're going to be spending more and everyone's going to be happy. So this is good. It's good news. Now it seems great again. Uh-oh. Matt Hab's already calling it great again. Great at least they listen. It's good feedback. 
Reduce bubbles since we all gotta live in them. Oops. So guys, Clash of Kings, I think you've satisfied the folks for now. And uh, everyone seems pretty pleased. So guys, here's what we gotta do for now. Before I get into the Q&A, I wanna tell all of you that are watching the video and everybody in the chat, make sure to go thank Clash of Kings. They get a lot of negative feedback. Go send them a thank you on Twitter and Facebook. Say thank you for making Clash of Kings great again. Thank you for listening to us. We really appreciate it. And I think they see that um, that it's appreciated and that we, um, you know, we're on their side. If we're all on the same team, I think it's going to make things work a lot better because there was always a divisiveness. And I think now we've opened up the dialogue to make everything work a lot smoother. So I'm pretty happy that everything has worked out so well. And um, yeah, guys, thank you guys for sharing the video. Thank you for telling everybody. Thank you for doing all of that. Um, it's good stuff. Okay, 30 million per Steve. Okay, Sharice, that's awesome. Um, so guys, here's the good thing. Go thank them and everything. Let me know what you guys think about this. Um, what? I think they did a great job responding. I think that they listed a lot of the main concerns in the video. The lack of stones. Um, the lack of being able to acquire a lot of the things. One thing, the other thing, if Clash of Kings, if you're watching this, the dragon needs to stop, um, let me go to my dragon real quick. Okay, party, I will. Gibbons, I will. One second, buddy. Let me get back to my game so I can show you guys something that are watching the, um, video as well. Okay, there's my game. Now, look at my dragon right now he's dead and i can't get him back up large enough to even um upgrade him he's at zero so there needs to be like a like for 500 gold you can take your dragon at full health that needs to come into the game very quickly for one let me know what else you guys uh think um let's do a q a real quick for the end of this video let's see if anyone in the chat has any questions so um, Diana says they should put out power cap at 50 million. I think they should for events, Dino. You know? I think for all the events, there should be a power cap and, um, there should be a stat cap. There needs to be a power cap. There needs to be a stat cap. Now, if you want to spend mad amounts of money and win your kingdom, I think that's, uh, cool and that's good. But I think once you start getting into events, it takes the fair, I, I mean, if you're in your kingdom, I don't know. I don't know if there should be a stat cap, but there should definitely be a power cap. I think you're right. Okay, Gabriel. Hey, DD. No plans on taking on a new kingdom by now? Uh, Gabriel, um, leave your Skype information in this video and someone will get a hold of you. There is a group of people that want to go to a new kingdom. I'm not part of it, but um, I will support you guys. Um, Lady C asks, how about the kingdom jump, DD? Uh, yeah, guys. In the next month, you're going to be able to jump kingdoms. Uh, you have to be at least a castle 20. And you're basically at prestige 5. You can only leave with about 30 million power. If you have too many troops, you'll give up some troops. But you'll keep your best troops. And you don't get to take safe resources. So make sure you guys use all your resources before you jump kingdoms. Um, so I'm getting a lot of questions about the kingdom jumping. Yeah, guys. If you guys want to know my thoughts on the kingdom jumping, I literally made three videos yesterday about it. So um, check out those videos and you'll know everything you need to know about that kingdom jumping. Okay. Um, Ganondorf asks... They need to remove the Dragon Campaign bonus. 55% is still too high. Uh, Ganondorf, you must have just got here. Let me go back to the Make Clash of Kings Great Again response. They said that 25% is going to be the highest buff for Dragon Campaign and Ancient Battlefield events. So, right here it says it. Adjust the Dragon Campaign buff. The max will be 25%. This won't be increased in the future. Also, we will adjust the Ancient Battlefield to get more players involved. So... They're going to take all those massive buffs away in those events, so that's good. 25% isn't that much. 5%, it's not terrible. It does not stack on the... It does not stack on the 30%. Jumping Spider says, Daydreams, you're about to hit 12k subs. You know what's crazy, um, Jumping Spider? I'm going to go to my real-time subs. We actually jumped about 150 subs today, and I think it's because 
of you guys um, whenever this uh, was sent to the game and people were saying, hey, they made a response to make Clash of Kings great again. I think it was you guys that actually were like, yeah, that's Daydream's channel. Go check them out. So it's from you guys. Thank you guys so much. Really appreciate that. We are about to hit um, we are about to hit 12k subscribers. So good news. Um, let me get out of this dragon so you guys aren't just looking at that. I need to pay attention to what I'm recording more if uh, I'm trying to be professional about it. Okay, um, C Ross says 25% on top of a P5 already. Ridiculous 400k March size is still too much. Um, C Ross, here's the thing. If if it if okay, you guys know how there's a 20% attack bonus. If that 25% stacks on top of that, then yeah, it's too much. It needs to be as low as 5%. I'm gonna find out about that. Because if it stacks, it's way too high still. Yeah, I need to find out about that. Um, Clash of Kings with D122L3. It's a crazy name, D1L D122L3. Uh, I have sent all my um, Clash of Kings family, well, COC, or KOC, that's his uh, alliance family, to your channel. I appreciate that, Christy Lowe. Thank you so much. Okay, guys, so any more questions? Is it worth spending to upgrade the dragon? Um, it might be in the future, Ezzy but right now it doesn't look like it is but if you read the response from them they're saying that the dragon will be important so go ahead and upgrade it Furt, i am not b-boxing you guys made me make a fool out of myself one night and i uh i sung a song and i'll never do it. <laughs> i might do it one time but on a weekend definitely not on a tuesday okay lady c she says i want to answer this how about the Chinese players who can get cheaper packs compared to us? Okay, what's COK going to do about it? Lady C, this, is th th this drives me so nuts because there's such a... Listen, I've done the exchange rates myself on the screenshots, and I've had Chinese players actually... Rainway donated $5. Thank you, Rainway. He is a longtime supporter of the channel. I appreciate you, Rainway. Thank you so much. I'm just confused as to why I didn't hear it. Maybe I got, um, yeah, um, Chinese don't get cheaper packs, guys. Some countries do, like Egypt, but it's because their currency is devalued or whatever. They go off of that. I mean, there's a lot that goes into it, but the Chinese do not get cheaper packs. As a matter of fact, their $100 pack costs them $97. You're right. They save $3 on a $100 pack. If you think 3% is enough to complain about, okay, but I don't. Especially since we've got the Amazon deal where we can actually get 25% uh, off. So, yeah, I don't think it's a big deal. Uh-oh. iPad is down to 10% battery. Thank you, Mythic. I'm so professional, guys. You guys know that. Um, wait. Ganondorf says, yes, they get a 50% discount with a high feedback account. Um, Ganondorf, I've never heard anything like that. And if they did, it would be like basically illegal for them to give some people cheaper packs than us because we're if we're spending a fair amount and they're not spending a fair amount it'd be illegal trust me they're not stupid they would not give one country 50 percent cheaper packs it's just ridiculous i i really don't think uh i really don't think they would do that but i guess anything is uh anything's possible but i'll find out guys as a matter of fact they need to reply about that uh-oh party of gibbons make clash of kings great again they're making it, Gibbons. They're making it great again. Thank you for the donation again. But seriously, you're lucky that um, you're lucky it wasn't a big donation this time, or I'd have been refunding it. You got to slow it down, brother. All right, guys, that's gonna be it for this video. I'm gonna keep streaming, but I'm gonna go ahead and end the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. In this situation, teamwork truly did make the dream work. And guys, I think that we got a long future in the game. It should be good. And as long as we've got a um, you know contact with them like this. I think everything's going to be great. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video.